Hello, my name is Dr. Rajiv Kar and I am an assistant professor at the Jyoti and Bhupat Mehta School of Health Science and Technology, IIT Guwahati. So this description is about our research work which was based on graphene. So graphene is a well-known material, carbonaceous material, uh, which, which gained a lot of attention since its discovery and the method of preparation back in 2004. Now graphene is quite unique because of its properties such as high electrical conductivity, thermal property and optical property based on which we can fine tune and uh, modulate it for various biomedical applications. Now in one of our project we tends to make functional derivatives of this graphene by attaching it chemically with some biocompatible materials. Say for example we did uh, some functionalization of graphene with amino acid cysteine. Now the purpose of this is to first see the behavior that is the characterization of these uh, newly synthesized graphene variants and then to make it use in different application because when we talk about the cysteine one of the side chain functional group is thiol and this thiol is available say for uh, enzymatic as well as non-enzymatic mode of uh, sensing. With the enzymatic we mean the free thiol group can make disulfide bonds with the cysteine groups present in protein and with the non-enzymatic it tends to stabilize nanoparticles with which we can further see the relative change once it interacts with the analytic uh, analytes. I am Jyoti, a PhD student uh, under Dr. Rajiv Kar. Now we are working on functionalized graphene oxide and uh, studying the behavior of this functionalized graphene oxide on different liquids. Hello, I am Rajan. I am working with Professor Rajiv Kar for the graphene project and one of the functional groups is this amino acid called cysteine. So we are developing this cysteine functionalized graphene and studying it uh, in different liquid media and uh, uh, using the cysteine functionalized graphene for developing electrochemical biosensor for blood based biomarkers. Now another thing is uh, although we developed this research, um, uh, research things and we uh, reported novel findings. One thing we noticed is although the research on graphene is very well tuned and it has been running since uh, more than two decades. However, uh, when it comes to the education part, students often lack. They, the lack uh, in the education is mainly on the characterization methods and the way with which the fundamental properties can be explored. So in line to this, we also uh, did some graphene variant studies where we developed some laboratory experiments especially to educate our uh, MTech students in biomedical engineering. Now uh, what we did is we, uh, we compiled a series of uh, laboratory experiments starting from UV visible spectrophotometry, FTIR, atomic force microscopy for morphological uh, evaluation as well as XRD for the crystalline uh, things. Now, the straightforward way to do the research is you take the sample, you put it in some instrument and you do the measurement. However, it is more important to analyze the data. That's what is the role of you know, a scientist and that's what we should you know, translate to the next generation for the educational purpose. Now in this laboratory experiment, we discussed all the protocols and the strategies that can strengthen the students' ideology, the learning and the hands-on practices. So not only the, uh, the focus was on collection of data, but it was also focused how you should do the literature survey, how you should compare your data with the existing literature uh, reported, making inferences, report writing, and so on and so forth. So in a hunch, we are also preparing the students for taking up new challenges in coming future.